10. Hi guys, General Splatton here. Uh, today I want to continue on with a look at some other resources that I have in my library and this will be uh, two different uh, figure magazines or miniature magazines that I have uh, that I want to talk to you about. The first one is going to be familiar for you people that uh, do historical figures and military figures. It's Figure International. This is put out by uh, Andrea Press. It is a quarterly magazine, so four times a year. Uh, it is sold worldwide. You can find it in the States. You can find it all over the place. Uh, that's Figure International by Andrea. Now, this particular magazine is good for, it's like getting a modeling book every f four months. Uh, it shows you step by step how the miniature was created. Uh, like for this horse, you know, airbrushing it on, then doing oils and acrylics for highlights and shadows and eyes and everything else. How the banner was done. So, uh, and the, the resolution on these miniatures is just, you know, just as low as you could possibly go, you know, an inch or less. So they're just stunning, stunning figures. Um, how the author did their particular techniques, but also the, how they arrived at what they were going to do. You know, the thoughts beforehand, before you, anything was even uh, painted. Uh, excellent excellent resource and magazine uh, it shows you these are competitions and some of the different uh, winners and categories uh, it's got author I mean uh, contributor highlights as far as they'll pick a person and look at their work over the years gives you some historical information uh, and like how to you know this is a figure workshop on painting this particular uh, female model it gives you some um, figures that are coming out from different companies and, and tells you a little about them. Uh, a lot of great stuff and uh, like this one here is almost it's just unbelievable the like this wool it looks like it's real wool right there on this uh, throw. Uh, all sorts of uh, interesting pieces that you might not uh, come across otherwise if you didn't have a magazine like this and you can learn a lot by these uh, see like I said it's not just uh, military or historical figures you know Captain America on the front uh, how particular and it gives you colors and things like that from the different ranges and how how eyes were done of this figure swords flesh everything uh, and it goes on and on uh, historical figures obviously um, new uh, models that are coming out and figures coming out from different companies you know this is not just a a uh, big advertisement for Andrea and their miniatures there's other miniature companies in here as well historical stuff like this is the Alamo uh, like here's a figure workshop on getting painting metal doing non-metallic metal as well as uh, using metallic metals once again figures uh, like tells you what was done to make Captain America here uh, dioramas uh, building of it uh, painting up the figure in front of it and final and finishing details so uh, and then competitions from uh, around Europe and different places and the competition figures so um, a lot of good stuff in this particular magazine uh, gives you a background on toy shops uh, figures you, that are cool that you might not uh, know about and uh, once again figure workshop on painting gold so a lot of great stuff here for you to uh, there for you to uh, learn from uh, like more in-depth articles on painting up a uh, black Templar here um, the, cl the cloak, uh, the face and all the metal everything so Figure International is a great magazine highly highly recommend it I only have three right now but over the years I'll be getting more so um, just continue to uh, look for it and I'm sure you'll find it that's the first one the next one is an interesting magazine 
some of you may be familiar with it, some of you may not. This is a Spanish magazine, um, Game Forces magazine. Now the interesting thing about this is it's uh, printed in Spanish, as you see here. But for a while, they tried to come out with an English edition. Uh, and that was when well, you see number one here. Uh, but the <laughs> the figures are just unbelievable, just amazing. You know, it just covers the gambit uh, of different figures and historical figures, uh, fantasy figures mostly, vehicles. Um, I know I'm going fast and you can't really focus on anything, but um, this particular one is really just basically. Um, uh, photographs. There's not much in the way of teaching, but the the dioramas in here and the painting quality is just unbelievable. Now, uh, I think they've stopped doing the English version with around 19. It's still in print, but it's a Spanish version. Uh, like these are the older Spanish versions, and what they did was is that uh, yes it was all in Spanish but they gave you an English insert to translate it uh, and some of uh, like explaining how they did uh, this um, particular model here I mean is that not gorgeous or what just unbelievable how they painted up the butterfly wings if you know Spanish hey you got it made but if you need the English translation you have to find it and read it here but uh, just exquisite exquisite work there folks just amazing. Uh, very, very beautiful models, low resolutions. Uh, and this is also like getting another modeling book. Now this is a bi-monthly magazine. It comes out every uh, two months. So it would be six issues a year. But uh, it goes into in-depth about what was done, you know, the different stages. And it, it covers the painting covers basing you know whatever that particular article is focusing on sometimes it might be um, uh, alterations or sculpting work but uh, how things were done stages of how they were done uh, just awesome awesome work in it get that back. Uh, now like here this is a Another one that's uh, in Spanish, but you get a translation with it. Well, so if you are an English speaker and don't know Spanish, if you want to pick these up, make sure that it's going to have the English translation because I'm not sure all of them do. Uh, but you can go to uh, Game Forces, just type in uh, Game Forces magazine as a search, and you'll find the uh, link there. So and just just amazing work all the way around. Uh, introduces you, I'm sure, probably to other companies that you might not be aware of. Certainly, artists uh, and just amazing, amazing pieces. You can study the photographs, read the articles. Now, you, with 16 here, this is where it got into. 15 was not, but 16 started with some English copies, and it'll say, um, I thought they had some that were like English, but just the uh, work is just exquisite, as you see there, amazing, amazing things, and that tells you how each portion of that tank was done, and you can see the photographs to learn. This horse right here tells you about you know going through the different steps until you get to the finished product, which is uh, here. Just a beautiful piece, excellent work. Like Conan, you know, an unusual skin tone, how it was done, thoughts behind it. Uh, here's a uh, Valkyrie going through stages so it will come out like that so and then they got this amazing piece over here of uh, this pirate hangout right here amazing shows a uh, uh, construction of it 
you know, the roof construction of it, side views of it, just amazing work. So, uh, like I said, getting another modeling uh, book every two months with this one. These are around ten dollars a piece. I think the uh, Figure International is about ten dollars a piece too. So, just wanted to show those to you and let you know about them. Tell me what you think. If you've got other magazines, uh, I'd love to see them. Um, but uh, those are two that I highly recommend. I mean, they are excellent, excellent magazines, and you can still pick them up. And also, you always go back and get back issues as well. Uh, so, highly recommend those. You'll be glad that you've got them, no matter what. No matter what style of painter you are or what type of figures you collect and paint. You can learn something from these books. Well, love to hear what you have to say. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, stick them below or do a video response, whatever you decide. This is General Splatten. I'll talk again. Dismissed.